Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead on today, December 17th, 2022. Hope everybody's doing good on this weird ass New York weather day. Yeah, we, we've been going through some shit over here in New York with the weather, but it's winter now, so so be it. Also, um, I want to give a quick shout out to my man TJ. Uh TJ is a is a is a, is a friend and a customer for this Sith Lord's merch. Uh, he's been helping me out and he's, you know, purchased a lot of merch for him and his kids. And, uh, if you go on my Facebook page, you get to see him modeling the shirts that he picked up. Uh, some of the shirts, hoodies, him and his kids are wearing. Uh, this is actually one of the new, uh, hoodies I just did for the, for the, for the channel. Uh, if you guys are interested, you just make sure to go onto my, uh, my Facebook page, the Sith Lords merch, and we'll discuss deals and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. Let's talk some Star Wars, uh, what ifs. Okay. <laughs> Um, this was actually a what if that came up on one of the Star Wars fan pages. Uh, the Star Wars fan page, Disney Hermit, uh, Disney's Hermit is not my Luke. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a shout out. And, you know, great. I love that page. You guys have always been good to me. All right. One, uh, the, the question was put out. What if, uh, JJ Abrams was, did when he started with episode seven, what if he did episode eight and then. They asked Ryan Johnson to do episode nine. Uh, I mean, you know, the one thing we don't like to do, I mean, you know, we already have this feeling with the with the sequel trilogy uh, on how they did it, what they did, you know, so on and so forth. But the one thing we all can agree as far as dealing with the sequel trilogy is that even though the first one, Force Awakens, was basically a new hope rebooted, uh, when we first saw it, and I'm and my myself included. Uh, it, it actually, I actually was, was getting into some of the characters, you know, we was interested in Finn, you know, we was interested in, you know, to see how certain, certain characters were going to evolve. And then when we, uh, got to see the last, uh, the last Jedi, it just turned to shit. And then the rise of Skywalker just made it extra shit. So if JJ Abrams probably should, you know, should have, when he started the trilogy and maybe he could have led it up to episode eight with the storyline that he had going, there's a possibility that maybe we would have got to see a lot of different things unfold the way it was supposed to, you know, as far as Snoke and all this other stuff that was happening. Um, you know, some of the original rumors that, uh, Ray was actually supposed to be a Kenobi and all this other stuff that was going on where we were all speculating when the force awakens came out. So I, me personally, I feel like if JJ did do the second, uh, the second, um, episode eight, um, you know, I think that maybe the storyline would have been a little bit better. I, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go out on a limb with that, you know, because, you know, we can't predict what it was going to, but if, if JJ Abrams would have stuck to whatever he was doing in episode seven and continued it in eight, probably seven and eight would have probably been one of the better Star Wars movies. Uh, in that in that sequel trilogy, and then of course you would have had Ryan Johnson going into Episode Nine, and he probably would have just destroyed it anyway. But at least you would have had a coherent story, because I mean, at least the one thing you got to give him, even though uh, JJ's been fucking up movies here and there, uh, he started the story. He probably would have continued it the way it was going, and then he would have just left it alone, and then Ryan Johnson probably would have did Nine and just destroyed it anyway. And he would have been cleaning his hands. You know, not, you know, that's just something that always stuck with me. And that was actually a really good question. You guys tell me what you think about that. I mean, you know, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was a pretty good, you know, uh, you know, comments and, and dialogue on a lot of people saying it was still going to be shit. It didn't matter. Yeah, I know. But again, when it came to the force awakens, I mean, come on, we all got to sit there and try to, you know, there's some people who, who, even the people who didn't like it, who didn't like the force awakens had to, you know, they dealt with it in a certain kind of way, even though already they were dealing with Ray and, you know, her knowing everything at some point. That was like the biggest thing about that part of her already knowing how to fight with the with the lightsaber and so on. But the other parts of it, I actually, like I said, Finn was the only one I was really into. Uh, and I was actually interested into the story of Snoke to see if they would have gave us some history on Snoke. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. And we got what we got. But uh, you guys tell me what you think. I mean, leave it in the comments. Tell me if you think that episode eight would have been better if JJ would have did it, if it would have been coherent, or it would have just been a shit movie anyway. All right? And now, also, we got news about Ahsoka. Um, there's been a lot of stuff with Ahsoka where they're talking about they're going to start doing... Um, I think they're gonna, in, the, in the series, they're going to have a lot of flashback scenes, which I think is going to be pretty cool. They're talking about 
um, Hayden Christensen is going to be in it yeah, as Vader and Anakin. And they're going to probably, re, uh, not redo, but they're going to have her in place of certain uh, spots from uh, Revenge of the Sith, where, uh, where they're on Mustafar. I think instead of Obi-Wan, it would have been Ahsoka. Like, to see how that would have played out, which I think would be fucking phenomenal. I would love to see that lightsaber fight. That would be so badass. Um, and to see how everything is going to unfold. I'm so looking forward to it. I mean, uh, I heard they already got different actresses to play a younger Ahsoka. So it's not going to be Rosario Dawson. Uh, but we'll see how that unfolds. Um, it's, it, it does open up a lot of things for them to do and to tell a lot, a lot of extra stories and a lot of in-betweens. I'm um, hoping that Luke is in it. Maybe we'll get when Ahsoka and Luke first meet, hear their dialogue, how she found out that Vader was redeemed, and, you know, Anakin was redeemed, and, uh, you know, that, that would be pretty cool. I, I think that would be fantastic. All right. And out of Star Wars news, um, look, I don't even have to say anything. All I got to say is Henry Cavill. Uh, there's plenty of things going on about Henry Cavill, how they shitted on him. Uh, you know, he was set to play Superman again, and then... Two months later, just took it out from him all, uh, all over again. But Henry Cavill, I heard he already got himself a, a great deal to do Warhammer 40K. Uh, he's the one that's going to take care of it. I already heard there's supposed to be some type of uh, trilogy going on in there. Uh, I think it's going to be on Amazon. So now Amazon gets a chance to redeem himself from that fucking Ring of Powers bullshit. They, if you know, Henry Cavill, who's all about the source material, who is a geek himself, who could go and do a fantastic job, and I'm hoping and just hoping that it's gonna be fantastic. I, I, I'm not hoping. I know it will be. If you let him stick to it, he'll do it. Because that's the reason why he left The Witcher. The Witcher just basically was running amok, and he he said that basically he only did The Witcher if they were stuck to the source material, which they did not. So we'll just leave it at that. But uh, you guys, tell me what you think um, about that what if that I put in there. Uh, again, I want to thank the guys over at Disney's Herman. It's not my Luke. For putting up that question, I think it was a fantastic question. You know, it'd be interesting to see how things would have turned out if maybe they would have did it where JJ did seven and eight. Maybe it would have been a better story, but we never would have known. Oh, well. All right, guys, this is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. May the force be with you.